I missed you. Hi, Floss Tube. How are we today? It's time for a proper Floss Tube, shall we? Hi, my name is Claire. I go by Clarity. And for those that don't know, I've been doing daily vlogs during quarantine because I live just outside of New York City. Um, so I've been doing daily stitch with me. But today, we're going to do a proper-ish Floss Tube update. I'm going to update you on the successes of this quarantine stitching, the FFOs of this quarantine stitching, just one, and the daily plans, and surprise, surprise, if you follow my Instagram story, I got a Lowry for my Mother's Day, slash birthday, slash Christmas, slash I saved up some money <laughs> gift. Um, Zelda is currently on it. So, hi, if I haven't already said it, my name is Claire. I go by Clarity, and this is a cross stitch channel where I talk about my floss, my cross stitching. It's a floss tube channel where I talk about my stitching, cross stitching, called Beautiful Clarity. Hi, it's been a hot month, but I've been doing daily videos. So, if you're new, welcome. Hi, glad you could find me. If you're returning, hi, you missed my face. I know you did. I missed my face too. <laughs> um, so, shall we begin? Um, let's start with the finishes. So since my last floss tube, I don't remember where we were. Um, I think I talked about how the Celine Dion cancel, concert was canceled. So I think I finished, or we showed you, we talked about eat, eat, sleep, stitch, repeat. All right, so I sewed some vinyl on top of it so it's super shiny because I plan on making this into a project bag. Um, I don't have a zipper for it yet. Or a Notions palette, probably a Notions bag. But like a little, or maybe a project bag, I don't know. Anyway, there's that. That was stitch one. And then we started with the stitch with me's. Um, did we finish together? Well, let's talk about the FFO. Um, I think this was part of the stitch with me's. If not, I definitely finished this in April and FFO'd it in May. This is Lucky Charm. This is the Fat Quarter Shop Freebie. I sewed it into a little pillow. Give credit where credit is due. Thank you, Vana, over at Cross Stitcher, the Twisted Stitcher. Hopefully it's, it's nice and firm. Hopefully it won't break down. Called for DMCs except this was supposed to be the metallic I used satin, which I'm never using satin again. If I look tired, it's because I am, because here in New York, we're on day 100 million of quarantine. So then when I decided, instead of my daily updates, this video is gonna be in parts, I can tell. So when I stopped doing daily updates, because that seemed a little bit more tedious than the Stitch With Me's, I started Lizzie Kate's Giggle Boxers in, I wanted to say number B30, but it was called We're Not Gossiping, We're Networking. This is, oh, this is a 28 count star sapphire linen, color conversion from personal stash. It is made from color and cotton. The only called for is this pink-ish grapefruit. It's called DMC 3705. Everything else is a color and cotton from stash conversion and I think this was a color and cotton too. I don't remember, um, but it's in the video show notes. I think, I don't think I also, I also don't know if I really wrote it down or took a picture of it. So here it is. I don't know what I'm going to do with it and it needs to be ironed again a few times, but there's a finish. All right. So then, oh, the most important finish of them all, Philomania. This was on 28 count. Oh, this was stitched with me. This was a 28 count. Um, this is on 28 count color and cotton. No, wait, I'm sorry, not color and cotton. 28 count white gel. It's called touch of gray, but it's definitely blue. The color conversion is all color and cotton, except these, this is DMC 814. So I have a feeling I cut this perfectly to be a back panel of one of my project bags so that the vinyl will go like there's a, a panel in front for the vinyl the zipper will be up and um yeah um 
So yes, that was Philomania. I'm gonna make it into a project bag or the back of the project bag. So obviously this will be, they'll have fabric on it. Um, I'm waiting for Joann's or some Hobby Lobby or Michael's, whoever sells fabric and zippers. I'm waiting for them to open back up here in New York. Um, little changes here and there. I excluded the S. There was an S in her last name because somewhere I miscounted. But if I didn't tell you that, you would have no idea. And I was actually retweeted or re-Instagrammed, is that the word, regrammed, by Casey over at Hewitt Hill Samplers, um, showing how I totally took this and made it my own. The red was actually where the red pleat, uh, the heart and that bird, that was actually called for. The rest of everything else was different colors, but I just kept it with the shades of blue, all color and cotton. These were in a stitch with me, the colors. Couldn't tell you which one, so. But thank you for joining me for the Stitch With Me's. So those are some, and then after we did this guy, this Lizzie Kate, we moved on to Country Cottage Needleworks. I'm doing smalls from Stash, um, because as you can tell, I was cleaning out my board. Um, there's flosses up there. I was cleaning out my board and I said, well, I should like do the smaller stuff first, get it out of the way, that way I can focus. Um, and it actually worked out nicely because the Lowry came the other day. So I can put my Zelda, I can put all my um, larger projects on that, or I can get these little guys because I stitch in hand with the sewing method, I can knock these little guys out ASAP. So this is Country Cottage Needleworks. Again, why is it like, it's like pretty stiff when I hold it. I guess I just have to like stretch it and iron it again. This is Country Cottage Needleworks. Uh, what's it called? Lovely Home. It's not a sampler. It's just called Lovely Home. The white is not, is called for, but everything else is color and cotton conversion from Stash. The green, that pink is called Primrose from color and cotton. This brown, I don't know if the camera's picking up the colors, the um, variegated, but it's called Caramel Brownie. I didn't, chose not to um, backstitch the windows. I don't know why. I just felt like it would I don't know. It probably should have backstitched on the windows, but I was kind of at the point where I was like, well, enough is enough. Let's do it. There's minimal mistakes on this. Actually, there's probably not any, which is huge for me. I did do a lot of frogging every once in a while, but this was huge. Um, so here we go. Lovely home. Country Cottage Needleworks. This took about a week consistently. I do a half hour video each day. Um, maybe I'll get two videos today. Maybe a proper floss to you and stitch with me um so that was that I know so that was the stitch with me so now we're up to like currently where I'm at with the stitch with me and I am working on hands on design year in chalk May because it is May and here's where I'm at not much done um I don't know if I want to restart it or whatnot because that N is a half stitch too close to the A but I, and, but the, I counted correctly for the letter A, so I don't know where I'm off. Either way, I'm just gonna leave it and finish the N and the T, and then it will say Seeds of Joy. And with the, um... there we go. This is on the called for 30 count. I don't think this is 30 count. I definitely think this is like a 36. I really should, I have a fabric gauge. I should measure it, but that's where we're working today. So if you're interested in joining the floss tube stitch with me half hour, that will be during nap time. And I'll stitch for a half hour on that. And then tonight I do about 45 minutes on now my Lowry stand. Um, usually I do the half hour on the uh, Stitch With Me's, like whatever I did during the Stitch With Me, I'll do another half hour later at night. But now that I have my Lowry, I am actually working on larger projects. So be right back. If you didn't already know, I have two little boys. One is four and the one is 19 months, 10, 20, almost two. So life gets busy, which is why my Stitch With Me's are only a half hour because nap time only lasts like 20 minutes in this house. So um, that's where we're at with the Stitch With Me's. We're all caught up, I think. If I miss something, let me know. I think, yeah, because I started Zelda and then I switched to the smalls. And then that's when I said to myself, self, we're gonna do smalls until there are no more smalls. So for those who are watching regularly, thank you and thank you for the coffee. Um, 
I appreciate that. And I, uh, what's, I don't, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's been one of those days and it's only 10 a.m. Okay, so after the plant joy, seeds of joy, I'm going to go back to this dimensions kit. Now, I have it in the hoop right now because I'm trying to frog it all out. I messed up royally. From what I understand, my counting is off somewhere. These flip-flops need to be up a little bit higher. So I'm gonna frog this, like there was like a polka dot thing here. I am going to just leave the flip-flops the way they are because this is all counted correctly. So I don't know where I messed up, but then I'm just gonna, and then there's another set of flip-flops. So as you can see, there's another set of flip-flops over here on like where my face is. So see how it's like better and then the top of flip-flop, well, I'm just gonna keep the space there and like that orange dot will just be whatever. Um, and then I'll just keep everything else the way it is. I think it'll be okay. I have enough fabric for it. Like it's gonna end up being a little poster for my wall behind me here. Anyway, so this is on 14 count ice blue Ada. Um, I don't remember, I think it was a gift. Like I said, in the videos, um, in the daily stitch with me. So if you're not following along, you should. In the daily stitch with me's most of these smalls were gifts or freebies or just you know past the stash so after we finish flip-flops which won't be too too long hopefully we're going to do the lizzie kate sampler the lizzie kate love sampler now i'm excited about this because when i was at in stitches back in dc i got a lot of 28 count whisper lugana I, I love this stuff. It's from Zweigart, but the cool part about this sampler is I did a beautiful color conversion from Stash. Just want to like pet all the threads. Look at that. that yellow, look at that purple. So it's all from Stash. Some were gifts, some were like uh, Lost of the Mud clubs, whatnot. So we're just going to. That will be the next, that will be after flip-flops. All right, so I don't really don't know what else. I mean, the big project that I'm working on is Zelda. I have a lot of ideas for her, which is not gonna happen, but she, I wanted to do Monogamania, Monogamiramania, but it just didn't seem to work out because the way that I was filming, my daily switch stitch with me is it just didn't work. And then now I have to figure out a setup for the Lowry. So maybe I'll do like my midday stitch with me and nighttime stitch with me. I don't, and then like reverse. So like today would be plant the smalls. Tomorrow would be the half hour of Zelda. I don't know. We'll see. Plus it changes it up because like I'm getting bored of some of my smalls. But anyway, I want to thank everybody for sticking with me throughout this quarantine um, here in New York. I live about 20... 30 miles right outside of New York City North um, and my county is actually I think on the upswing but I'm like I said numerous times I'm waiting for Zelda or not Zelda Glinda the good witch from Wizard of Oz to come out and be like it's okay you can come out now everything's open so that's that um, I've been reading books if you follow the stitch with me's or join me on the stitch with me's um, You'll hear about that. Also, I'm on Goodreads. Um, I think I'm just called Clarity on Goodreads. I don't remember. The links are in below in the bios, in the bio description box. So is my Facebook group. Um, people ask me why Facebook group. Well, because I'd like to flood my own feed of pretty things, which is why I'm in Hugay groups and cross stitch groups because I am so sick of my feed being all about COVID and the world. So let's flood our feeds where we can with pretty things. Um, yeah, that's it, I think. I don't know. I, it's been so long since I've done a proper floss tube that I can't remember how to do these. Yikes, I have no haul, except the Lowry, uh, which I probably should take pictures of and do. Uh, the bedroom has become the home office now. <laughs> and that's where the Lowry is. Um, and that's where Zelda is, so I'm trying to think. I think that's it, I have a few small, smalls set up for the rest of the year um it does not seem possible that my four-year-old will be going to pre-k in the fall 
does not sound promising. Um, even the preschool teacher that I spoke to the other day who runs the pre-K program, she was like, mm, maybe, we'll see. So lots of stitch with me's up in my future, I can tell. You know you love it. Um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for sponsoring a coffee every once in a while. I appreciate that. I am so thankful for all of you who come, keep coming back and who keep recommending books uh, because that's helping me too. Um, fly lady system, you can eat off of my floors. If you fall, if you need a way to clean your house without being like, oh, I have to clean the house, go follow flylady.net. It's also in the description box. My Erin Condren planner had arrived. I will do a little mini unboxing for that during a daily stitch with me. Um, just a flip through, so because people are always curious, and I did get one that isn't the usual one, um, and I have a lot of plans on how I'm going to use that for stitching because it does not seem like I will be using it for a day-to-day -day planner as projected or anticipated. So I will be using that alongside the 24 hours of cross stitch for my stitching. I don't have a mania journal because I was originally planning just to do Zelda, but then we did the smalls, so. Um, Hopefully, the next small will be done within the week. So today is Thursday, May 14th. New York State should start opening, hopefully tomorrow. Um, today's Thursday, May 14th, so I'm hoping that next time I film Floss 2, I will have two small finishes. I will have finished flip-flops and the May urine chalk. I have not caught myself up to um, the linens and threads. I haven't even touched it. I made a major mistake for April and I put it away in timeout. So it's in timeout for a while. Haven't started my haid, but now that I have the Q-snaps, big enough, I have an 11 by 17 Q-snap and I have the Lowry. I think I can start fat getting that all set up, but I just have to check if I have all the threads for that. I don't think I do. And it's all DMC. So either I wait, which I probably will, or I just start no, I can't even start. The one corner I want to start, I can't even start because I don't have those flosses. Update on the double-sided floss box that I ordered. It shipped from China on April 24th and it should be arriving sometime in May. It said projected date May 25th. That will help me get organized for my hate. <laughs> All right, friends, it's time for our morning walk. Have a great day. Um, whatever time of day you're watching, have a great tomorrow, have a great yesterday, have a great today. We're in unprecedented times, but we knew this. And it's, we're in a tight spot, but we knew that. Um, the best I can say is life is beautiful, and so are you. Until tomorrow, or later today, stitch with me. Stay beautiful, my friends. See you soon. Bye.